3ds max has an object or a tool i should say called the view cube the view cube allows us to go ahead and view our scene from different angles with just a click of a button instead of navigating our camera manually using uh, the mouse and uh, rotating the camera view and zooming in and out and so on and so forth okay now the view cube can be found in the upper right corner here of your viewport okay when your mouse is away from the view cube it darkens and goes into an inactive state so what happens is that the view cube goes in an inactive state and becomes about 50 percent transparent allowing you to focus and work on your scene without being distracted by the view cube as soon as your mouse comes back over the view cube it becomes active now it becomes brighter and you can see it better and you can start actually using the functionality here of the view cube the view cube is comprised of two main elements the view cube itself which you can see here that has buttons that say top front and left and we also have the compass that's underneath the view cube and you can see here that we have buttons for north west east that's back there and then south over here we can navigate using the view cube simply by clicking on one of those buttons so for example if you want to navigate using the compass you can click on the w here for west and now what will happen is the viewpoint here will go ahead and change from a western direction so you can view this almost from the side or from the left here if we click on these arrow icons we can switch to the front view click on again you'll see a right view click on it again you'll see a back view if we click on the top arrow icon here we'll see this from the top okay now if you want to go ahead and rotate this around because right now north is actually pointing down let's say you wanted this to be at a viewpoint where north is actually facing up on your viewport well we can use these arrow icons here on the top right of the view cube to do that we can use them to turn this thing counterclockwise or clockwise depending on which arrows you go ahead and click on so now we can have north facing up so again we can click on the w to go ahead and look at this from the west or the left side and so on and so forth if we go ahead and click in between the left and top buttons we'll see that there's this button here this button actually in the corner if we click on that we'll look at this from this sort of corner perspective that's a combination of the top left and front views if we go ahead and click on this button here we'll look at this from the top left view here okay and if we go ahead and click on that back button back there we'll look at this from the top right this corner will allow us to see a combination of top right and back at the same time which can be pretty useful if you want to go back to the home view just click on this home icon it's on the top left here of the view cube and I'll take you back to the original home uh, viewpoint position here okay now we can configure this view cube in the many different ways if you right click on top of it you'll open up this sub menu that allows you to select a few uh, buttons and commands here we want to go ahead and go to configure when you go to configure it opens up the viewport configuration tab for view cube and we can change a few things for example we can change the view cube size right now mine is set to large the default is normal if you want to change the size of it you have four options tiny small normal and large i'll leave it on large because it's easier to see in the video the inactive opacity controls how opaque or how transparent this uh, view cube is going to be when your mouse is not hovering over it and it's just going to sit there in an inactive state the default is 50 percent transparent and if you want it to have less or more opacity you can go ahead and do that for example i could choose 25 percent hit ok and when my mouse is not hovering over the view cube you notice that it's very dim and it has a lot of opacity you almost can't see it. so let me right click and go back to configure and we can actually go back to 50 percent here which is the default and you have a few different options here that you can test out and try let's say for example if you don't like to have the compass below the view cube you can actually turn it off from here hit OK and now you just get the view cube you don't get a compass at all so maybe you like to do that instead of having that compass there okay if you want to turn off the view cube completely you can just click here and uncheck the show view cube button here and you notice all the options become dimmed out or grayed out hit OK and now the view cube is gone it's no longer here in our view anymore if you need to bring the view cube back just go here to the views main menu button up here go to view cube in the sub menu go to configure check on show the view cube hit OK and the view cube is back alright so there you go that's the view cube very quickly in 3ds max and how we can use it to help us view our objects here in our scene very easily and quickly from all kinds of different and interesting angles